Here we are in Tampa. The Blue Jackets are getting set to practice the day before they open their Stanley Cup playoff series with the Lightning. Bob McElligot and Jody Shelley here with you. Jody, the Lightning, we know all about them. They have been the best team in the NHL from day one until day 82. They had 62 wins on the year. Uh, this team is a complete team for the Blue Jackets. What little nuances do they have to have in their game to beat this team? Well, first of all, they've got to be technically sound. Passes got to be on the tape. The shots got to go off the goaltender or off the net. They can't shoot wide. They cannot feed in the, to the transition of the Tampa Bay Lightning, and they've got to really manage the puck. I think the game plan needs to be for the Blue Jackets to get out of their zone clean. That's one thing. When you talk about passing, put that pass from the defenseman to the forward so they can get out of the zone. The Tampa Bay Lightning like to push up and get in your face. The Blue Jackets need to get that puck out, get in the offensive zone, and hang out in the offensive zone. I think that's got to be a key. If the Blue Jackets can just spend time down there and wait and wait and wait for their chances, then the chances will come. It's a seven-game series. You're not going to win it in game one, but you're going to set the tone for a really try to frustrate the likes of Kucherov. This guy can get frustrated if you can let him hang out and play defense. That's, a, that's where he doesn't want to be. There's two places that he doesn't want to be, on the bench and in his defensive zone. So uh, for me, the key is frustration by playing in the offensive zone of the Lightning. Now, how much of this game has got to be played, this series, has to be played between the ears of the players of the Columbus Blue Jackets? A lot of it. And it's it's the details of the game. It's When you're in the playoffs, the urgency of going over the boards and being the guy responsible on the ice for your teammates and your team is heightened. That's why it's such a, like the feeling you have as a player is like, oh, you know, I don't want to mess this up. I don't want to be the guy to, to put us behind. But also, if you have the mindset of take charge, okay, I'm on the ice, Cam Atkinson, Artemi Panarin, uh, Pierre-Luc Dubois, everybody, grab this thing when you're out there, make those passes, have good short shifts, get on and get off the ice. Torch is going to have a very detailed game plan, but I think it's going to be very simple in all three zones. And I think between the years, you're right. Focus on your job, take care of it when you're on the ice, and get back and get off, and just roll that way. Very simple. They're the underdog, the huge underdog in the series. But just go out there and follow the game plan. Don't feed into the beast of the Tampa Bay Lightning. Speaking of beasts, Josh Anderson. Yeah. Could this be a series for him, a guy that has uh, the big body and he knows how to use it? His forechecking, and not just him. I think Pierre-Luc Dubois is another big guy that – the forechecking part of the game, how important will it be? Well, I'll just go back to Tom Wilson last year for the Washington Capitals, and, and that's how far I think Anderson needs to look. He doesn't need to be compared to him, but just that role of being that disturber, the, the guy that can upset the apple cart, the guy that can go in the corners and make it tough on, on the big players. The other people I think that are going to be effective, Bjorkstrand's been hot down the stretch, Felino's in the middle, and Texier's the new guy with a ton of skill. Fun to watch that line. That could be the X factor in this series. Another X factor could be, should be actually, Sergei Bobrovsky. Got to be. There's no question. It's Vasilevsky and Bobrovsky, two Russian netminders, two of the best in the world. Yeah, that's got to be Bob's net, Bob's game. All right, so this all gets underway tomorrow with game one. It'll be a 7 o'clock start over at Amelie Arena. We're in the practice facility today getting ready for that series to begin. Uh, tomorrow's game, Jody will have it on Fox Sports Ohio. I've got it on the Blue Jackets radio network. Our pregame is going to start at 6 o'clock. Yours too, probably? Yeah, I think yeah. so. All right, so 6 o'clock to get you ready for a 7 o'clock faceoff tomorrow. For Jody Shelley, I'm Bob McElligot.